हेलो किड्स वेलकम टू द क्लास टूडेज टॉपिक विल बी इक्वेल इन फ्रैक्शन सो सिंपल डेफिनेशन और लेट से द मीनिंग ऑफ इक्वेल इन फ्रैक्शन इज द फ्रैक्शन दैट रिप्रेजेंट द सेम वैल्यू बट लुक डिफरेंट दैट इज डिफरेंट न्यूमरेटर और डिनोमिनेटर आई कॉल्ड इक्वेल इन फ्रैक्शन मीनिंग इज वेरी सिंपल इट मीन्स दैट हियर हैज यू कैन सी देर आर टू फ्रैक्शन दे बोथ हैव डिफरेंट डिजिट बट स्टिल दे बोथ आर इक्वल how to identify the whether the given two fractions are equivalent or no that we will be learning today okay so first we will take the first fraction we will write it down 1 upon 4 always remember in the fraction you will come across this concept where you have to make the denominator same so whenever you see this question of which is related to fraction try to go and check the denominators so here you have 1 upon 4 and we will first write the denominator of other fraction that is 8 okay now you have to look at this two given number 4 and 8 now you have to think 4 into what will give you 8 it is 4 into 2 same thing you have to do in the numerator now 1 into 2 is 2 so what fraction did you get 2 upon 8 and is it the same fraction that you see over here yes that means One upon four is equal to two upon eight. That means one upon four and two upon eight are equivalent fractions. Now, second question we will take is two upon three and three upon six. Same step you have to follow. First, check the denominator. So first, I'll write the first fraction, which is two upon three, and then I'll write the denominator of the second fraction, which is six. Now, as I said, first try to see the relation between the denominators. So three into something. Gives me six that I know, so I have to think what it is. It is three into two, gives you six, and same thing I'll do here. So two into two gives me four. So this is the equivalent fraction to two upon three. But is four mentioned here? No, it is three upon six. That means two upon three and three upon six are not at all equivalent. The last question I'll take is one upon three. And now write the denominator of another fraction, which is five. Now you look at the relation. Can you multiply or divide three with anything that will give you answer as five? No, it is not at all going to give you. So you don't have to go to other step of itself. When you see that one place of the fraction is not coming equal, that means the whole fraction is not going to be equal value in fraction. That means one upon three. is not equivalent to 2 upon 5 so this was all for today's class thank you take care bye bye